Hello YTPC, what about you? Cass Piper Cassidy here, I hope you're well. Merry Christmas everyone, it's uh, it's not over yet, you know, we still have New Year's to do. Today's installment is all about pipes and we've got quite a different variety to get through. Um, so, first of all, my wife, part of her Christmas present to me was some very different pipes. So we have a couple of these Victorian clay cutties. Victorian era style. There's the, another one. Beautiful little pipes, which I'll be doing a review on. I've, I've never smoked a clay pipe. Also, there's a couple here from their traditional pipes from Ukraine. This would have been used in various historic ceremonies, these style of pipes, out on the battlefield. This one has like a brass bowl, wooden stem, and then another one with a ceramic bowl, which may well smoke as good as a meerschaum, you never know. Looks can be deceiving. Really beautiful pieces. I'm very happy with how they look anyway. They... And it'll be an experience, I'm sure. Very excited to see how these turn out. So that's for up and coming videos. Today's video is about another couple of pipes. And I'm gonna show you one of them. Well, you're gonna see both of them. I'm smoking one of them. This is the one I'm not smoking. A beautiful quarter bent billiard. Touch of apple about the bowl too. Beautiful pipe. Really well made. This pipe was made by Harold Wallace, the guy I mentioned in the last couple of videos ago. So there's a little bit of rain on this side. So uh, yeah, Harold Wallace sent me a couple of his pipes say, asking me to review them. As you can see, I've been smoking these pipes, but that's the bent one. Absolutely beautiful work. The drilling is absolutely fine. A1 work. No problems. They both smoke incredibly well. Like really well. I don't know if you'll pick it up there, but the drilling, I mean, who knows if you'll pick that up in the bowl. But, Everything is dead on. Absolutely fine. Flush fits perfect. Here's the one we're smoking. Harold Wallace, if you're watching this, I cannot thank you enough. These are going to be smoked like nobody's business. So, these pipes, I mean, they're going to feature in my videos. I can't help it because they're so damn good. They are. And today I'm smoking Orlick Golden Slice in this one. We'll get her going. very rainy outside I'm sure you can pick that up on the on the audio 
but yeah, these pipes smoke absolutely magnificently. Absolutely magnificently. So Harold, whatever you're doing, you're doing it right, mate. I mean, I'm no expert, I don't claim to be an expert, but to me, these are two classic shapes, made, executed absolutely fine. The standard of briar seems absolutely fine, there's a nice bit, of, you know, the grains there, the, the drilling all seems to be symmetrical and where it should be. Like I say, I'm no expert, I'm just a pipe smoker. Yeah. The tenon meets the mortise, the uh, everything, the stummel, the shank, everything's grand. The mouthpiece, they feel great. The button's not too large. Everything's fine. And they give a great there's a great, they're a great smoke, they're both great smokers. I mean, I'm almost disappointed that there is nothing to bitch about. Well, not really, I mean, I'm glad. They're just, this is, I think, I don't think he's made 10 pipes the way he's been describing what he's been doing to me what he's been doing, sorry, to me as in describing. Um, so for these to be, you know, off the bat, just dabbling around with creating pipes and to pull off two classic shapes like this is absolutely, really, really talented. And I can't thank you enough, Harold, for these. I'll keep smoking them. I'm trying to smoke more kind of filtered these days, and these aren't filtered, and I'm still smoking them. That's how good they are. I hope everyone had a good Christmas anyway. I spent mine at my mum's with my wife, my brother, his uh, wife, my sister-in-law, and their niece, my niece and nephew. They're, uh, like I mentioned, I think I mentioned, they're both of toddler age, so very exciting for them. Santa was awful good to them, and so was Granny and Grandad, my mother and father. The crack was 90, as they say, here in Northern Ireland. It was good. Good fun. Everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. Yeah, what, what more could you ask for? I hope you guys had something similar. We still have New Year's Eve to look forward to. Uncle Phil, excuse me, Professor Jeremiah uh, is having a Zoom on uh, the 31st, Thursday, I think. Maybe we'll see Uncle Phil there. I was just th I'm thinking of Uncle Phil. Uh, I think I'll join in on that. I don't think I'm up to much on uh, New Year's Eve this year. There's, there's not much to do, especially for someone like me who tries to uh, avoid alcohol. Not avoid, I don't avoid alcohol, but uh, it's not like I can't hang out with people who are drinking, it's just I don't drink, so. It won't be uh, 
see what movies are on TV and maybe chime in and out of Professor Jeremiah's Zoom. The Orlick Golden Slice. It's great. I think I'm down to the last last 10 grams maybe. It's been a very virginia -y Christmas for me. I've been enjoying a lot of Elizabethan mixture and a lot of Orlick. <coughs> Pardon me, but there has been some, uh, yeah, old dark fire there's been, I've been, What's the other burly? The 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 Solani aged burly flake, and then obviously I've been s still smoking uh, the Amphora original original, which is still up there in my top three. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a quick word from our sponsors. I'll smoke this down a bit. Now you're doing that together now. I don't think I'm gonna leave my dress here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. So yeah, I've been smoking more Virginias, like I said. Don't know why. I forgot how good Elizabethan mixture was. I put it in my pipe a couple of nights ago. Well, for, um, I think it was Christmas Eve. And uh, lit it up while I was walking the dogs. And I thought, Jesus Christ, this is really nice. And it had just been so long since I packed the pipe. With anything of that nature. No, I'd, I'd, I'd been smoking Chin James Flake as a vapor. But the Elizabethan mixture is certainly great. Yes, Harold, thank you very much once again, mate. Really can't decide which one I like best. I think the camera on the iPhone is good enough to focus on whatever you show it. Congratulations to Kevin, Granite City Piper, for winning the GAW. I was meant to post his things today, but it might be tomorrow. But uh, I've, e I've sent Kevin an email explaining to him I'm being very lazy. It will happen tomorrow. And I'm happy for you to have won up there in Aberdeen. And... Hopefully this stuff will get to you safely. I'm sure it will. Hopefully those customs bastards don't uh, recognize it as being cigars and tobacco related. It probably shouldn't matter if sending within the UK anyway. Fantastic. Just, they just smoke brilliantly. 
They both do. I couldn't decide which one. He, he, uh, I think I mentioned this before. Uh, Harold sent me a picture of five or six pipes and I couldn't decide between this one and this one. So I said, just um, you pick which one and send it to me. And of course he sent me both. Very, very kind. Hopefully you'll like all the tobacco. Even the Galwith. He's interested in the Galwith blend, so I sent him 1792 Flake, along with Enerdale, which he requested. And some Amphora, my favourite. And some London Eye, Rattray's London Eye. But I wonder what he'll think of the 1792. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna, I've still got a tin, but I will, uh, gonna smoke it once every few weeks or so, just to see. Just to see if my palate changes any. Is anyone getting up to anything interesting on New Year's Eve, Thursday then? Let me know in your comments. Any interesting cocktails that you had over Christmas? Any funny stories? Did mum get too drunk? Fantastic. But yes, I've still got another. I'll be back to work on Monday the 4th. I'm finding it very hard mentally. Uh, not fucking. I'm just thinking about work too much. There's a, a lot of shite has been dumped on my plate at work just before the break. So yeah, I just can't stop obsessing it. Switching on the laptop and staring at the emails. Again. Uh, yeah. Gotta go and meditate for for half an hour or something. Herbal tea, meditate. Taking the CBD oil and medication. Lord. Ah. Uh, I've been enjoying all you guys' videos. I've been enjoying Tim Hermit Piper. I've been enjoying 13 Pipes with his take on London and his surroundings. He's uh, working out of a place that's very near the Albert Hall. So he's been filming bits and pieces of the, the King Albert uh, Memorial and the, the Royal Albert Hall. I've been going trailing through Hermit Piper and Newton Piper. Piper. Uh, Newton Piper is a very, very good channel. I was speaking with him on uh, Christmas Day on Professor Jeremiah's chat. I forget his name. Carl. Carl. Yeah. Seems like a nice guy and his channel is excellent. Check it out. Newton Piper. He uh, likes his history. Uh, likes to, his brother's a metal detector, uh, a savant or whatever the word would be, and somebody who's into that and good at it and knows what they're looking for and obviously knows a bit about antiques and their history and where you might find them. I think there's one or two videos feature that, that brother. Great guys. Mark Northeast Piper, been watching his videos, along with Uncle Phil. Gotta love Uncle Phil. Chelsea at Dooza Pipes, enjoying your channel. D W Z A Pipes, Dooza Pipes. And uh, smoking cardboard, I've been enjoying Steve's. 
it's just great to have that. It's it's like having company when you're feeling a bit down and lonely. YTPC is very important. We should do our utmost to preserve it. Um, gonna have a chat with Scruffy Piper next. Zoom chat. It won't be till the new year. Scruffy Piper, then it is Eric Weaver, and then Eric Weaver of Sea Smoke Pipes, and then it is John Pounder of Deal Piper. Really looking forward to those. Should be good. But like I say, folks, that's it. Don't be surprised if you see me smoking these very regularly, Harold. They are fantastic pipes. I'm considering seeing if I can get them converted to 9mm. I've sent a few messages out asking for advice, but I'm still waiting on the advice. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Let me know how you're getting on, and hopefully I'll speak to you very shortly. Toodle pip!